Hello and welcome to Small College Advanced Warfare Havoc DLC news and as expected the preview trailer for the DLC was released today. In this video I'm going to analyse the full preview trailer and tell you everything that you need to know about it and all of the main points included in it. So my first point that I noticed in this trailer is nothing to actually do with the DLC itself, it's something that is sort of linked with a lot of rumours that have been spreading about the game. You might have seen from other YouTubers such as Ali A that people have been receiving weapons in their supply drops that aren't actually in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they've been in games like Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3. At 7 seconds into the video you can hear someone in the background shout RPG, I don't know if it's just referring to the launchers that are in the game currently, or whether this is something that is built into the developer's version of the game that we haven't received yet that maybe contains the actual RPG that we've seen people getting in their supply drops. The second drops. point is that we get to see the lockdown in full detail. The lockdown is the urban maps timed event. Every map in this DLC will have a timed event and this is the one that is in the urban map. Basically doors open it changes the pathways and changes lines of sight in the map and it looks like a pretty cool way for the map to change during game. The next point is map based score streak that you receive in care packages on the core map and it's called the decontamination drone. Basically there's little pods all around the map. I don't know if they come in or if they're there for the full game but when this gets activated, the little robots pop out of it. They're a bit like the recon drones and they just go and smash into the enemies and kill them. Each drone can only kill one person, it'll kill the closest enemy to them. So it's a pretty good streak if there's a lot of enemies playing, so it'll work really well on ground war. The avalanche is shown on the drift map. The avalanche is the timed event for the drift map and it basically wipes out a full streak. It looks really good, it looks like it's going to change the map a lot. And it's also going to kill anyone that's in its way, a bit like the wave on the defender map. Next we get to see the Sideshow timed event, which is bombs. They're a little bit different from what I thought they would be. So basically the bombs come flying out the top of this clown sign and everyone has to run towards a bomb and pick it up a bit like an uplink and then they can throw it at an enemy and it'll explode and kill them. It looks like it'll be a really fun element to it. This map doesn't look like a serious map, it looks like it's just based around having fun. So this looks like it is going to be a really good add to the map. So that is everything on the multiplayer side, there wasn't really anything extra added to it from what we already knew, apart from what the developers say, and I will link it down below so you can go and watch it, I didn't want to post it because of copyright reasons, just in case I got it taken down, but I will post it down below so you can go and see what they were saying. So next I'm going to be moving on to the Exo Zombies, and for the Exo Zombies there is a lot of stuff to talk about. So the first thing that you see in the Exo Zombies part of the trailer is that crawlers have returned. Crawlers haven't gone away so you'll still be able to blow off the zombies legs. Maybe they'll spawn without legs and they will crawl towards you. And as you can see they can still Exo Dash even though they're only crawlers. So this will make them a lot more harder to kill than they were on the previous Call of Duty's. Care packages are in the Exo Zombies. So I don't know if you earn these like you did in the Exo Survival or whether they just come at random timed events. But these care packages will be really fun to use, the streaks will be really fun to use, and you can stack the streaks by the looks of it. So if every streak's included, a warbird or a paladin would be really good fun just to go in and kill loads and loads of zombies at once. Also in this preview trailer we get to see the four characters that we'll be playing as in the Exo Zombies game mode. The first character is called Oz, and I think he's going to be the main character, and his character is based around being a maintenance man. Just from his title, I think he's going to be sort of like an underdog. I think he's going to supposed to be like a really good fighter who isn't really expected to be because he's in, in like the military sort of field. The second character is called Lilith and she is an IT specialist. Lilith is going to be the first female character role that we've ever seen in Call of Duty and especially in the zombies. The third character is called Decker and he's a security guard. And the final character is called Mr. Khan and he is called the executive. Because all of these characters have such different roles to play, I'm wondering whether we're going to have specific weapons which they can all use or whether they'll have different skills. So maybe Mr. Khan, as he's the executive, he'll be able to have like half price on all the weapons because he's more rich than all the others. Oz can maybe have higher damage, Lilith can maybe have a better exosuit, and Decker can maybe just have all around better weapons and movement capabilities. This is just an idea, it hasn't actually been announced, but if they do it'll be really good because then you'll have a reason for liking one character, not because of their name or what they say, they'll actually have a benefit to picking that character. The final new thing that was shown in this preview trailer was a weapon for the Exo Zombies game mode, and it is called the Cell 3 Carterizer. This gun looks pretty insane, it's basically a direct energy shotgun, and it has three barrels that rotate, and every time it rotates, I don't know if it prints you ammo or whether you have to reload it, but in the trailer I've never seen anyone reload it, so it looks pretty overpowered, and I'm thinking that maybe it's going to like replace the ray gun in this. I'm hoping that it is a weapon that everyone wants to get, to get to the really high rounds like the ray gun, because it looks really fun to use, and I'm hoping that they do have something like the mystery box, because that is really fun just to go and put all your points into it and hope to get the best gun. 
So that is everything from the new preview trailer of the College of Advanced Warfare Havoc DLC. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.